This is the design brief that we are going to follow today. We're designing a loading screen for a pizza shop in Ireland. So let's get into Figma and see what we can do about it. We are here in Figma and we have created a frame, iPhone Pro Max frame and uh, we're going to press O and we're going to create, a, create an ellipse. So with the ellipse when you hover over, um, hover over the starting point you will see a sweeping area. What you need to do is we need to create slices. For pizza slices you need specific sectors of a circle. For that we are going to go on the right side and as you can see it's at 100% right now. So we are going to uh, divide it by six because we need six slices and it's going to show um, exactly what um, what the amount is. So it's 16.67%. Now what we can do is we can just uh, casually rotate it and see what the angle is coming. So it's currently 60.37. So we'll add in, in the sweep angle 60. We just need to copy and paste this ellipse and it will paste at the exact sp same spot and we just need to add in we just need to keep adding in 60 degrees into it on the right side as you can see um, I'm just adding in 60s and now I'll just add in some color for the base of the piece and add in a stroke so that the slices are more visible more visible and uh, I'll add in a color that represents the slice more than than black. Now what we need to do is we need to add the toppings. So for the toppings, I'm going to choose pepperoni and I'm going to make it a little reddish, dark reddish color. And I'm just going to add in three pepperonis on per slice. So I'm going to make it a combo pizza. So I'm going to add in three slices of pepperoni. Uh, press P for vector and create a vector of baconish shape. So it's going to be a pepperoni bacon pizza. So I'm just going to create my bacon and I'm going to reduce the size and then I'll just add in a fill or probably what looks like bacon something orangeish and we're going to add in our bacon in the slices in the remaining slices so when we have our pizza selected uh, we need to create groups of uh, every slice so select in your slice and select in the um, the toppings of per slice so we need, we we should have six groups at the end of this so now we need to copy the frame and uh, we need to duplicate it and we are going to unsee one group per frame so that we have an animation of uh, uh, each slice instantly, instantly goes away. So yeah that we are going to do and we just, we just need to keep doing that until we have a single, single slice left. We are going to prototype it now and we are going to make it after delay so go in the prototype section and choose in um, after delay probably and I guess the seconds are okay milliseconds are okay for now and the animation is smart animate so we'll see what it turns out and we can make the changes afterwards so we're going to make the same changes um, as we go ahead so so select the frame and you will see the plus icon and choose in what the animation will look like. Now the animation looks very slow. So we are going to make it, um, unfortunately we can't select all the prototypes uh, at once. So we are going to do it one by one and we are going to make it instant from stars from smart animate to instant so and we are going to do this for every other animation and yeah i think this looks good but yeah we need a, a closing frame as well so a single slice doesn't justify anything so we want it to be a full circle like a loop so for creating the loop we need to have more screens so we're going to select the first four screens as you can see we have 
uh, six screens right now so we're going to select the first four screens and we're going to just drag them down pressing alt so that we have a duplicate of, our, of them but what this will do is it will just contain what the uh, usual prototypes like what the prototypes we created for the above screen so you just have to delete them and as we are creating it in reverse so you will need to delete them and we are going to add in the same animation the instant after delay of 200 millisecond animation in this just remember in the last one um you can you have the same piece of so you need to do an after delay but for a lesser time like 100 ms and it looks good it looks like a loop it looks like the loading screen actually and, and yeah it looks fine The next thing we need to do is uh, we need to create another animation so we'll go on this left top i'll go on this top left and change this page name to instant and create another page named minimal so this is going to be a very minimal animation and it's going to be super fast and super quick and super easy so we're going to create another frame of uh, 511 press uh, we are going to uh, um, uh, 511 we're going to copy our pizza and uh, the same pizza that we created or you can create another one that's your choice but uh, i'll just uh, select the frame and copy it within and and i'll create another frame so for this i will be creating three like three slices will have the toppings and three won't so uh, i just want to create a distinguishable uh, pizza I just want to create a distinguishable pizza so for that I'm doing that and uh, for the last one I'm going to add in all the toppings to like uh, fill it with bacon bacon and bacon can be converted into chili so yeah I'm going to change the color of it to green and make it like a jalapeno chili-ish topping and yeah i just need to add in my toppings and yeah we have three pizzas now i'll just change the colors of the bases so that it looks like it, they are different pizzas and not the same ones so yeah i'm going to add in some colors like um which makes them look more uh, differentiating than the other and for the end as well, I'm going to add in like a margarita pizza or something like that. So for a margarita, I'm going to change the colors, make it a little lightish. Yeah, I guess. And for the looping part, I'm going to just add in my last frame there. And now we go into the prototype. Uh, we add in the same thing after delay, but for this, we need we keep the time for the current being at 50 ms and the animation is instant only so we have a 50 millisecond time after delay and uh, we create in the loop of say 10 milliseconds and we see what our animation looks like it's too fast so we'll probably change the animation the delay bar to 150 and we'll do that for every other screen and we we'll just loop it back again with after delay of say 50 ms so as we can see the changing mesas looks like a loop animation or loading animation 